lecture on freedom of expression and human rights at Boston University. It is my honor to present our distinguished speaker today, Eleni Blakas. This will be the 13th lecture in our Grand Memorial Lecture Series. At this point, we are both happy and sad. We're happy because despite all the difficulties, we have insisted to organize the Hrantik Memorial Lectures since 2008, a year after Hrantik's assassination. Three departments of this university. I'm really overawed after this introduction. <laughs> so, so the title of um, uh, of my lecture today is the outcasts uh, concerning the outcasts of the world. Uh, there is something profoundly disconcerting and at the same time symptomatic about how long it has taken in the post-war period. Sorry, the period. Oops. Okay. Um, Uh, so, um, about how long it has taken in the post-war period for the historical meaning of the genocides of the Armenian, the Jewish, the Roma people, and other peoples deemed. Now, why the political systems that were born of the French Revolution and other political revolutions of uh, natural law, right, uh, <coughs> did assert the individual freedom they did not guarantee its precondition, the institutional recognition of plurality. <coughs> By reasserting the absolutist postulate of the homogeneity of the body politic, well, the nation states, yes. and by making the, uh, the exercise of human rights dependent upon territoriality and nationality, the democratic state constructed human plurality human diversity as antinomic, op opposite with freedom or inconsistent with freedom and equality, and restricted pol the political voca vocabulary to a single voice. If, as Marx claimed, the old regime is the hidden defect of the modern state, nowhere is that defect more tragically obvious than in real democracy's inability to tear itself away from the majestic model of the one, its repeated failure to defend human plurality. In 1951, Hannah Arendt formulated the task bequeathed, bequeathed us by the century, last century, as the creation of a new political principle, a new law on earth whose validity Thank you. 